NVIDIA, in collaboration with TSMC and ASML, made a breakthrough in chip manufacturing. They have developed a new algorithm which speeds up one of the most crucial steps by 40 times. This will increase TSMC's throughput and potentially allow TSMC to produce more advanced chips without upgrading the equipment. How cool is that? Let me explain. Just like in surgery, for chip manufacturing we need extreme precision. At the moment we are at 2 nanometer transistors. This means we are able to fabricate transistor features of the size of a human DNA. This is just mind-blowing. This is possible by using ASML UV machines, which are used for photolithography. It's sort of a high-tech printer. This printer projects tiny patterns through a mask over and over again. Some light is blocked by the mask, and some light reaches the surface of the vapor and creates patterns. That's how transistor features are being printed on a wafer. For a modern chip, we need about 100 photo masks, and the number of the masks required depends on the complexity of the chip. The more complex the chip, the more masks we need. The problem is that it takes a lot of time. Literally, at the moment, it takes weeks to compute these masks. That's why most of the foundries have the whole dedicated data centers just for computing these photo masks. Another problem is that as transistors are getting smaller and smaller, it's getting more and more difficult to create these tiny patterns on a mask. The way it's done today, it's basically reverse engineering. You start with a pattern which you would like to have on a wafer and recalculate it back to the pattern on a mask, which will lead to the desired pattern on the wafer. This approach is called inverse lithography. And this is one of the biggest advances of the last two decades, because this process allows us to fabricate 3 nanometer features with 13.5 nanometer light. Isn't it brilliant? To calculate the photo masks, we need to solve lots of Maxwell equations related to the physics of the light. And this involves solving lots of integrals. And as you can imagine, it's very computationally expensive task. That's why companies use huge data centers which compute such lithography masks for weeks or even months. Just for this task, we use tens of millions of CPU hours every year. And because it takes so much time, fabs like TMSMC, they cannot afford to do it for all the layers. And this is only done for a few critical layers of the most advanced chips. The problem is that even if there is a small change in the thickness of the material, we already have to recalculate this mask. And this is a bottleneck, because it slows down the whole chip fabrication process. And in general, in perspective, it also slows down our progress towards more advanced process nodes. Some days ago, at GTC conference, NVIDIA presented a new solution. NVIDIA designed a new GPU-based algorithm along with a new library, which accelerates computational lithography by 40 times. Basically, they've developed an algorithm which parallelizes the task among many GPUs. This reduces the amount of time needed for computing a photo mask from several weeks to an overnight job. And this acceleration is easily explainable, because at its nature, this is an imaging task. And GPU is a perfect fit for this, a much better fit than a CPU. Just think about it. NVIDIA developed a new technology which runs on their own NVIDIA GPU racks and speeds up the fabrication of their future chips and GPUs. How thoughtful of them! <laughs> and yes, one may think that it's a perfect task, a perfect job for machine learning or AI, but at the moment they implemented it as purely, as pure math and no machine learning was involved, but obviously it would be a great next step in the development of this project. According to NVIDIA, with this new algorithm, 500 NVIDIA DGX supercomputers do the work of 4,000 CPUs. There are 89 reticles for the NVIDIA H100. Running on CPUs, a single reticle currently takes two weeks to process. Kulitho, running on GPUs, can process a reticle in a single 
eight hour shift, reducing power from 35 megawatts to just five megawatts. This is an amazing improvement. If we look at the bigger picture, this new breakthrough will help TSMC to increase its throughput and produce more of this beautiful, stunning silicon wafers. And also it will speed up our progress towards one nanometer and beyond. If you learned anything new from this video, please let me know by giving it a like and leaving a comment below. Thanks! With these new libraries, they are able to create curvy polygons on a mask, and this results in a greater depth of focus. A greater focus is what we all need, right? <laughs> in perspective, this could reduce the total number of masks needed, which will reduce costs and improve the yield because the greater depth of focus results in less variation across a wafer. This means that it will get overall a better yield. And this is amazing. This technology will be used by TSMC in production starting from June this year. And other companies like Synopsys, who is a huge EDA software company, and ASML plan to support these new libraries. What's interesting, NVIDIA is not the first company who used GPUs to try to accelerate computational lithography. There was another startup in California called D2S or Design to System, which had exactly the same idea and started to build GPU-based supercomputer for computational lithography already in 2019. But seems NVIDIA managed it first to bring this to market. Let me know what you think about this amazing progress. I think this will make a difference in our way, uh, in the long term, in our way towards one nanometer. And if you want to support my channel, my work, the link to the Patreon is below. I will see you in the next video.